In Maximum City, Bombay Lost and Found, Suketa Mehta offers a multifaceted exploration of Mumbai, formerly Bombay, weaving together personal anecdotes, journalistic investigation, and cultural analysis to depict the complex layers of this metropolis. The book delves into the city's vibrant history, its social dynamics, and the daily lives of its inhabitants, ultimately portraying a city of contradictions, hopes, and struggles. Meta's narrative style is immersive, employing vivid descriptions that engage the reader's senses. He skillfully captures the city's frenetic energy and chaotic beauty, evoking a sensory experience that mirrors the overwhelming nature of Mumbai itself. Through his own experiences as a returning expatriate, Meta's personal encounters become a lens through which he examines broader themes. His account of the 1993 bombings, for instance, illustrates how terrorism has become woven into the fabric of the city, reflecting the coexistence of hope and violence that defines Mumbai. The author's exploration of Mumbai's social strata highlights the glaring disparities between the rich and the poor. Dharavi, one of Asia's largest slums, is portrayed not merely as a place of poverty, but as a hub of industriousness, where individuals exhibit resilience and resourcefulness. Meta humanizes the residents of Dharavi, subverting stereotypes and shedding light on the dignity and determination that prevail amidst adversity. Religion and communalism are central themes in the book. Meta delves into the 1992-1993 riots and their aftermath, examining the city's religious fault lines. He uncovers the manipulative role of politicians in inciting violence along religious lines, demonstrating how this communalism fractures Mumbai's unity. The author's candid interviews with gangsters, such as Dawood Ibrahim, provide insights into the criminal underbelly that thrives within the city's cracks, blurring the line between organized crime and politics. Meta's portrayal of Mumbai as a city of dreams is a recurring motif. He delves into the lives of individuals who migrate to the city with aspirations of fame and success, often finding themselves trapped in cycles of struggle. Bollywood emerges as a symbol of these dreams, offering a chance for social mobility while also perpetuating certain stereotypes. The story of struggling actors and the behind-the-scenes look at the film industry serve as microcosms of Mumbai's paradoxes. The author's exploration of Mumbai's nightlife provides yet another layer to his narrative. He navigates the city's club scene, revealing how it serves as an escape from the daily grind for some, and a space of social experimentation for others. This section of the book underscores the city's malleability, adapting to the desires and aspirations of its diverse inhabitants. Through personal anecdotes, Meta offers a unique perspective on the city's changing landscape. His engagement with the local taxi driver, for instance, becomes a metaphor for the city's evolution, as globalization and modernization reshape traditional ways of life. The narrative hints at a loss of Mumbai's distinct identity as it becomes increasingly homogenized with global cities. In conclusion, Maximum City, Bombay Lost and Found, is a tapestry of narratives that interweave to present a multifaceted portrayal of Mumbai. Meta's writing style, immersive storytelling, and extensive research provide a deep insight into the city's history, culture, and social dynamics. Through personal experiences and diverse encounters, the book navigates through Mumbai's contradictions and complexities, revealing a city that is both a microcosm of broader societal issues and a unique entity in its own right. Through Meta's eyes, Mumbai emerges as a city perpetually in flux, where the search for identity, community, and success unfolds against a backdrop of chaos and opportunity.